Have you ever been disappointed? Do you keep getting disappointment by people you did not expect to disappoint you? People who are meant to be supporting you but are the ones bringing you down. It is in the nature for a man to change, to be selfish, and put his own needs first. The reason why we get disappointed in life is because we put so much trust in men, forgetting the fact that only God can be fully trusted. He alone remains constant and will always bring His word to pass in your life. When you have gotten to that point, know that God is calling, saying, Come to me, my child. I want to be involved in your life. For the God we serve is a God that honors His word more than His name. And with Him, there can be no disappointment. He is the only person that says a thing and it comes to pass. So get Him involved in your life, whether in good or in hard times. He will still remain with you. He's not a man that wants to leave you in time of difficulties. He really wants to hold your hand and walk with you through it all. So why not give Him the chance? Answer the call. Give Him the space. He has been waiting for you and see that every disappointment will turn to blessing when you have tried your way and it never works. This is another sign that God is saying you should let Him in. He wants to be involved in the process. Have you been trying to get things done in your life and it never seems to yield good results? You might be educated, gained all the experiences and qualities, but still it is not working. Most people get to the point to eventually give up because of frustration. If only at this point you take a minute to look at God's word, which simply says, You should put trust in the Lord with all your heart. Be not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall make your path straight. As simple as this verse is in the Bible, we always forget it. God is the creator of knowledge. There is nothing new to Him, so why get frustrated when God is always ready to be involved? When you have tried all your ways and it's not working, when you have gone all out, know that the Master is calling. He wants to be involved. He is the one who gave you the idea. So, it is not possible He leaves you without helping. Do not get frustrated. Do not give up. Just simply acknowledge Him and He will make every crooked path open for you. Have you given up on life? Do you feel the problems of this world are too much and want to consume you? Do you feel this life is not worth living anymore and you just want to end it? Do not worry, you are not alone. God is waiting and wants to be involved in that problem. The Word of God says, Come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Why carry all your burden alone when there is someone who can carry every problem you face? Whenever you feel like giving up, this is the point where you should be connected with God because He wants to be involved. At this point, draw nearer to God and He will draw nearer to you. God is so mindful that He cannot leave you in that challenge. He is a present help in times of need, just like the woman with the issue of blood. She would have given up on life, but the moment she involved God by touching Him, the problem disappeared. So why not touch the Master and see things turn around for your good? When you are a believer and do not get God involved in your affairs, it is a plot by the devil to lead you into final condemnation. The moment you realize that you have started giving up, this is the point you should become closer to God than ever before, because that is just when you are at the very edge of a big breakthrough. Consider Job in the Bible. He was tested by the devil on every level, just so he could curse God, but he did not, despite the pain he was feeling and the pressure from everyone. He did not give in. He saw it as a time to be closer to God in the midst of difficulties. Get God involved. When you feel all alone, when you feel all alone as if nobody cares about you, loves you, nobody wants to associate with you, nobody understands you, and you are just lost, 
It is a sign that God is waiting for you to get Him involved. We become too attached to people around us that we forget we have someone who loves us the most. Why not redirect your love and your focus to God and get Him involved? Most times, God allows us to feel alone so that He will be able to separate us from all the distractions and get to talk to us. Never feel that you are alone, because you are not. God is still in your business, but you have pushed Him aside with the distractions around you, and when the distractions leave you, you feel empty. That's the sign you need, and God is saying, I am here. I have always been. Why not get me involved? Let me show you my love and companionship. There is no greater love on earth and in heaven as compared to the love that God has shown us, but we do not see it. Talk to Jesus, tell Him that difficult situation, and see how He solves them for you. Just accept the calling, invite Him in, and see how things will turn around for you. When you feel rejected, when you feel rejected by people who are supposed to accept you, your friends and family, do not be sad, for even our Lord Jesus was rejected by the very same people who He came to die for. He was denied by the people He loved so much. Whenever you feel rejected, know that God wants you to invite Him into that situation. Who can help you better in a situation like this, if not someone who has been there? He is a friend who will stick with you to the very end and the perfect example of the rejected stone who finally became the chief cornerstone. We can only handle rejection if we stay connected to the main source, which is God. Always remember you are loved, and God is ready to be involved in what you are going through. All He needs is your invitation, and He will come through for you.